Today, we're going to be talking about the 24mm Vapefly Wormhole RDA. It's got a two-piece top cap with a real wacky airflow design. How does that wacky airflow work? Make sure you stay tuned and watch the whole video to find out what I think. Here is the Wormhole RDA. A little bit too much Ultum for me. The color is kind of ugly. I wish they would have sent me another color, but it's all right, I guess. Kind of has like that gold bronzish look, right? Here is your 810 drip tip. Again, you know, has that Ultum look. A lot of people don't like it. It's all right. It's a little too much on this RDA, a little too much gold and yellow going on. But here is your top airflow right here, right? Notice, see that? You got all different kinds of sides over there. Now this piece, two-piece barrel system, this comes off. And then I'm going to show you something else. See this airflow right here with the two dots? That means, that two dots means you're in dual coil mode. I don't know what you would call it. If you call it, I guess you'd call it inside airflow, right? What happens is the airflow is going through here and then coming out through here. So check this out. This is kind of neat. See this third screw right here, the one in the middle? kind of cool take it out with your screwdriver just like so and now you take your little tweezers and you kind of pull up right there see you got these little airflow plates right here this one has holes three holes on each side okay so that's kind of cool what's happening is you have some airflow that's going through the block and that plate is kind of restricting it so what you can do is you can leave them off and just put the screw in there if you want to or you could run it in single coil mode as well see there's another plate that comes in your accessory bag that has three holes on one side but no holes on the other side so that's kind of cool that gives you a lot of airflow versatility which I really like now like I said you have the option of putting the screw back on and just leaving everything off if you want to and leaving that airflow wide open I don't suggest that. I did try it. I did not like it. I liked it better with the restrictors in place. In order to put them in place, you just finagle them in there like that. Make sure you line it up so the hole for your screw lines up with the hole in the plate. And once you're done doing that, you just take your screw and you put it back in there and just tighten it all back down. And now it's in its original form factor, how it came out of the box. But it is kind of neat that you can switch it around you can take it off or you could add the single coil option on it so I just wanted to show you that now let's look at the barrel so now if I'm in single coil mode I take the single dot there and I put it I put the barrel section on and now my airflow you see I got no airflow in front of this coil see that but I got my airflow in front of this coil so that's in single coil mode right if I just want to shut off the bottom airflow See the galaxy emblem? I put that in front of that side hole and I pop it in and now I just got side airflow. But you notice how that's kind of, I don't like that that's kind of off center. You kind of got to move it a little bit to get it on center. All right. But it's good that they give you some kind of guide. And then if I want bottom airflow, I take the two dots and I put it in front of that hole, put the top cap on, put the barrel on. And now you'll see I got side airflow or side interior, whatever you want to call that. And there's my airflow on the sides of the coils and on that one too. It's kind of weird though because like when you put the second piece of the, of the barrel on, everything's kind of offset because you can only really keep three holes open. So it's kind of weird. It's like you almost got to pick a side. Same thing on the other side, right? You got to pick a side that's more centered. So it's a little wacky the way they did the AFC adjustment, but it's got a really nice range. You can definitely get creative. And I like the fact that they got creative with the airflow. That's actually kind of cool. It really is. I'm very impressed with the way this is designed. I don't know if it, if it's, uh, if it helps any, but it's definitely got a nice range of airflow. Now, what we have here is a typical clamp style deck, all right? Basically, two posts, one terminal per post. You shove both leads in there, right? You kind of pinch them together till you get the spacing that you want. Then you tighten down one screw and the other screw, all right? Nice deep juice well. Big deep juice well. Look how nice and deep that juice well is. 
They did a nice job on that. Nice quality screws, flathead screws. I wish they were hex, but you know, a lot of people are leaning towards those flat screws now for for what reason I have no idea. I like hex much better. Nice O-ring tolerance on here. It can actually be a little tight, so make sure you juice it up. Okay. And on the bottom, we got some wormhole branding, serial number, vape fly branding, gold plated 510 connection, insulator ring around that, stainless steel threading around that. Here's the wormhole RDA user's manual. You get two NI80 coils with a package of cotton. That's kind of nice. I like that. Nice touch. You get a tri tool, 510 drip tip adapter, squonking pin some spare o-rings, some spare deck screws. Here it is all put together. I mean, overall, it's very innovative the way they did the airflow. That's kind of impressive. Let's get into the cons and the pros. First con's gonna be that airflow, man. I'm not too sure about that whole design. I'm not too sure how I feel about it. It's a little, it's a little too out there for me, I gotta admit, and I'm not sure it actually works well. I've been using it just with my airflow in front of the coils. This is a subjective con, but it's weird looking. There's no doubt about it. No matter what I do with it, that airflow is just always off center. I don't like that, man. It kind of messes with my OCD. I got to point it out. The airflow is also a tad noisy. And that two post, one terminal per post, not a fan of it at all. Let's get into the pros because believe it or not, there are quite a few pros. First pro is going to be, man, this thing's a cloud chucker, man. This thing can put out the cloudage. Even though it's a cloud chucker, it's got very middle of the road flavor, but that's what you're going to get when you're, when you're talking about clouds versus flavor. Most of the time you sacrifice one for the other. So while it's a cloud chucker, it's got okay flavor. So I got to point that out. The airflow is innovative. I'm not sure if it all you know, if it works that great, but it's it's innovative for sure. I've never seen anything like it. It's got a nice airflow range. You can really fine tune how much air you actually want to send through this RDA. The airflow on it is actually smooth, so I got to point that out as well. It's got a nice, big, deep juice well. I like that. I like the coils that they included in the package. We'll give them a pro for that. The flat edges on the barrel actually give you a nice grip. It's great when you're looking to take the atomizer off a mod. And I gotta say, man, like most Vapefly stuff, the build quality is there. They make some nice stuff, and this one looks like it's put together in a nice way. But deuces, what do you think about that wacky airflow design? I gotta tell you, man, I'm not, too, I'm not sold on it. I don't know. It just seems like I think they should have went a more traditional way with the airflow. It's innovative. I'll give them props for that. But as far as the whole RDA goes, I could take it or leave it. However, if you like RDAs with a wide airflow range and something a little innovative and different, it's definitely worth a look. Check out our link down below. We'll have a link as to where you can buy it. Make sure you click the thumbnails on the screen. Check out some of our other videos. And that's it, folks. That's all we got today. You keep living that vape life, we're out of here. Deuces.